Alright, welcome back to Kumasa Reviews. We've got another lunchtime review here, and what we got is the H SH Figuarts. The Sentai Zyre Ranger, their Dragon Ranger. Or as known here in the US as the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Season 1 Green Ranger. So taking a look at the box here. Alright, pretty cool stuff. Pretty standard for a figure arts box. Alright, just some different poses showing off. Some of the option parts, apparently this release came with some bonus parts. Um, what you see here is more of an American-themed belt as well, well as a neckband. That's from these guys' appearance in Occupa Rangers. Um, another Sentai show, same producers and everything like that, but it's more of a parody. And when the Power Rangers made a guest appearance in that show, they were called the Powerful Rangers and wore the American-themed belt and neckbands and things like that to represent the fact that they were the Americanized versions rather than the Japanese Sentai versions. So, okay, I'm actually opening the box right now. Figured this isn't a figure that comes with much, so we'll go ahead and unbox it here too. So, okay, off the bat you see the different styles of hands that he comes with as well as the long sword and his dragon flute dragon dagger hmm. okay. I like that they made that easy to take out of the box there okay all right so got the figure here Actually, get him to stand up. All right, put him in decent range there, and it's a great likeness. I really do dig how well they did with the sculpt. Eversized figure, around five inches tall. But looking at some of the extra hands there and things like that, um, give you a good look at the figure all around. Whoops. Mm -hmm. And he definitely has some more realistic hills in that they don't go too far back. So you really got to find that right balance point for him. But let's look at the articulation on this guy since we're talking about it. All right, ball jointed head. More joining where the neck meets the chest. Ball jointed shoulders here as well as some swing in and out there. You see there's an extra piece there to help with that. All right. Also, has good swivel. All right. Double jointed elbows. All right. Thighs on swivel. Oops. Thighs on ball joint. Thighs swivel there. Looking at the waist, he does have ab crunch there as well as waist turn. Looking at the knees, double jointed knees. Ugh, nasty player to Kai knees. But whatever. And then the feet. Definite ball jointed ankles there. They look fantastic. Lots of range of motion there. And a little bit more posability in the front of the foot. So definitely one that's made for a variety of poses and things like that. And for me, I'm definitely one that grew up on Power Rangers. Never been into, like, the Japanese Sentai or anything like that that they originated from. Alright, so there he is. And let's go ahead and change him up to the Akaba appearance look, or Akiba. Alright, so yeah, you just switch it out. Big ball joint there. Okay. And the sheath for his dragon dagger just pops out. Doesn't seem to want to pop back in as well. So we're going to actually try popping it in before 
we do that, and boom. That worked like a charm. Okay, so there's that part. And now we gotta switch out the neck there. Oops. Drop down. And that just pops in like so. And there you go. There's that part. So cool stuff there, definitely, definitely dig them. All right, so go ahead and refocus on them. There we go, I'm learning the iPad a little bit better. But let's take a look at the weapons here. The Dragon Dagger. For such a small piece, the amount of detailing and just paint and stuff like that is pretty amazing to look at. So. Rather than having him hold it, I'll just go ahead and put that into the sheath. And I'll have him hold the longer sword, though. In the American season, since I don't know a lot about Sentai, I remember that this is the sword that he held when he was still under, or Tommy was still under Rita's control. This one seems... There we go. So he comes with specific hands for the sword that are a lot more... Close fist, but okay. All right, well, let's give him an open hand. Let's see what we got here. Alright, cool. Actually get it so the sword is in view there. And you can see those ankles work. Just really, really nice stuff. Angle this up a little bit more. Alright, cool. So there you have it. That's the SH Figuarts um, Zaya Ranger, Dragon Ranger, or the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger Season 1, Green Ranger, Tommy. Awesome figure, you know. It does have the removable chest shield here too. So that's pretty cool. Um, I read that there is a armored version of the Red Ranger that's coming too for episodes where the Red Ranger would take the Green Ranger shield and things. And I remember the Black Ranger, Zack, doing it too. So I hope they come out with a armored version of the Black Ranger as well. But anyway, once again, this is, Akuma, this is Akuma style. I'm TJ Duckett. And this has been another Lunchtime Review. Glad you guys are liking these shorter reviews and things like that. I really enjoy filming them a lot more than the more drawn-out, detailed, chaptered-up reviews and things like that. So I appreciate the fault, uh, or the positive feedback, and yeah, I've been working on the stability of the camera and stuff like that so that you don't see all the screen tearing and stuff like that in the background. So hopefully it's working and continue to bear with me while I go through the glitches and things like that that you guys see. And continue to, you know, give me feedback and stuff like that as well. But anyway, see you next review and have a great day.